A man is facing several charges, including attempted rape after a chaotic night in Northeast Portland. According to court papers, the owner of a salon helped free the victim from the suspect. Our folks, Connor McCarthy looked into this for us and joins us live with details. Connor? Well, when and or according to those court documents, this all happened between Northeast Broadway, on Northeast Broadway, between Northeast 30th and 33rd. A salon owner heard of the screams around 1.30 in the morning. Now, the document says when she went outside and saw a woman struggling to get away from 55-year-old Daniel Delgado, who was on top of her, allegedly trying to rape her. In the early morning hours of March 13th, the owner of a Northeast Portland tanning salon heard loud screaming. Court papers show she drove about a block away to the corner of Northeast 30th and Broadway where she saw 55-year-old Daniel Delgado on top of another woman. That woman was fighting back. According to court documents, Delgado was trying to rape her but was stopped when the owner of the salon pepper sprayed him. Delgado ran off but was stopped a few blocks away on the corner of Northeast 33rd and Broadway by the same salon owner, still dousing him with pepper spray. He was eventually taken into custody. It's really disheartening to hear. Zach Darton is the manager of Straight Blast Gym about 10 blocks away from where the alleged attack happened. He says over the last few months, there has been an increase of people coming in looking to learn how to defend themselves, many of them blaming the increase in crime. We've definitely seen an uptick. Um, it's not good for the city, you know? It, it would feel, make me feel bad just to say it's good for us, but it's, it's not good for any of us reality. He says for anyone out there worried about their safety, martial arts courses could be a good option. You can do other things like walking around with good posture and keeping earbuds out of your ears. This will help you be aware of your surroundings. So it's down to the, the minute details of how you walk around will make a difference in whether or not somebody will come after you. But once that happens, then you have to be able to physically defend yourself. You have to be willing to fight. And fighting is what that victim did with the help of the, that salon owner. Now, I did try to reach that salon owner for an interview tonight, but I didn't hear back. Now, for Delgado, he's facing four charges, including sex abuse, rape, and harassment. Live in Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.